on the answer to all your questions. Hey guys, Rizwan here from Chicken Secrets. It has been quite a while since you've last done a video, and for that, I apologize. Uh, life got really hectic again. Like, holy crap, hectic. And it's the case fault. Huh? It's the case fault, too. It, it's all of our faults. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but, we're back, and, um, we're excited to bring you Kamen Rider Episode 13 review. We're going to try and blitz through as many of these episodes as we can to kind of catch up to where we are on episode 22. Hopefully, over the course of the next week, we can do that. Anyway, with all that said, I'm joined by... Hi, guys. I'm Anthony, also known as Kyoto Green in the Power Chamber, and I'm talking to the Ninja Rangers uh, White Angel, and I'm also joined by... What is going on, guys? I'm Madden O's on the Common Rider fan page. Uh, my name is David Sa, by the way. And... I am also Otaku Sentai Digi Rangers Silver Knight, and my agent's name here on Anime Secrets is Spoken Silver. And lastly, joining us is. Uh, it's your boy Ronald Budsy, aka the Green Terrier, aka Mop 5000, aka Splatoon's Greatest, aka the World's Greatest, aka the Universe. the Universe Buster, aka. <laughs> A.K.A. the mailman of dreams, <laughs> A.K.A. the angel of death's cousin. Cousin. <laughs> Holy, what even did you just say? You know, <laughs> Buster, did you just say that? Yeah, you kind of right on the yeah, first part. It's not like you can't disprove it. <laughs> look, man, look. You may be the... You want me to prove it? <laughs> you, you may it's be up the to you. You may be the universe buster, okay? I'll give you that. That's fine. <laughs> but you can't compete with me, Rizwan, aka the Indian Cajun, okay? Oh my god. Actually the Cajun Indian. Actually the Cajun Indian. Yeah, 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 bro. It's the Cajun Indian. Whatever. I'm still an Indian Cajun, Cajun Indian, whatever you want to say. If you're gonna get the AKAs, why don't you do it correct? Yeah, man. <laughs> Look, man, I'm just too hot for you to handle. You're just jealous of my hotness right now. I got the Cajun Bro, spice, I got the Indian about? spice. Ooh! Yeah. Burn! Burn! <laughs> On this edition of Tokyo Secrets, uh, we're gonna have a smackdown between me and Ronald apparently now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been so long since we've done this. Holy <laughs> man, I can't even. We miss you guys. Yeah. Subscribers, we are so sorry for how long it's been. It's been really too long. Yeah. We have failed the Toku to to City. We have failed this YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, um, Ronald, I believe you want to talk today, so have at it. It's all you, buddy. All right, guys, let's 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 get on to this review. So. On the last episode of Kamen Rider Gosto, um, where we last left him, uh, Takaru was um, at his father's grave, uh, thanking, thanking him for reviving him last time and giving him a nice new red icon, giving him all that power, you know. And then... Uh, Or actually, or hold on. Uh, Riz, you take, you take um, over real quick. Um. Oh. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> um. Mm. Yeah. What he said. Um. So yeah, Takuda's at the grave and doing the thing, and he's paying homage. And Mikado and him are talking. I guess it's where Ronald was. I kind of couldn't follow his. Yeah. 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 That was. Yeah. That's his. Yeah. That's where it was. Okay. So, while Takeda is um, praying to his father, Mikado uh, comes up and they start talking about uh, what he means by him saying he's going to go to hell and all that, or why he was in hell for 10 years before, prior to all this. And uh, Mikado says that, I'll explain once I've settled everything else that I have to deal with, 
right now it's not the time for me to tell you everything. Um, meanwhile, back in Ganma World, because that's a great place to live. Not really. It's terrible. You can lose <laughs> your soul there. Uh, Aaron, Alan, whatever we're gonna call him, I forget what we call him. Alan? Alan. Yeah. Um, he finds out he can still use the Ganma without Sciancy, and he's like, I wonder where the guy went. But he just, like, starts it off and goes to meet his brother, and he decides, yeah, I'm gonna send these two Ganma to Earth, because they gotta go to Earth and do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Do the thing, you know, like, yeah. attack and do stuff. So... The Ganma appear um, to be able to manipulate mobile networks, which is actually pretty cool to me, given I'm an engineer and I like this kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, apparently they take the phone from, like, a guy throws his phone into buses because, um, I guess, reasons of his phone stopped working, and his Zapkins can afford a new phone. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, an icon just hops on him from the bus, and the soul's like, yeah, I'm going to borrow you for a while to go explore New Japan, because I haven't seen New Japan. I've seen the old Japan, and this all looks so weird and new to me. And also note also note that, like, whenever uh, an icon possesses a, a human, like, they actually take on the... They change, sort of change their, like, lightness and, like, their appearance a little bit, whereas the guy was wearing glasses, he kind of, like, puts his glasses up, yeah. Up, and like his hair kind of like sticks up a little bit. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm kind of shows like, hey, you know, this is this is the possessed person, you know. Yeah. And this is also the first time where, uh, like, one of the luminaries actually possesses the victim and speaks to Takaru in this case. And I know that's kind of a spoiler, but we're going to get to that anyway. But yeah, that's actually spoilers, uh, this is like a icon luminary thing, and blah 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 stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, uh, like, different twist. Like, I wish they did this a bit more often. Like, it would have been cool if they did it in the Robin Hood episode. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, dude, we could have used this a lot more pre uh, earlier on. Mm-hmm. But yeah, moving on. Yeah, you want to take over, Nate? Did you have the... So we were at the park for... Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay. So, so, the guy has his phone possessed, so while, so while that's happening, uh, Takaru, Wakari, and Onari are, they're at the temple, and they're pretty much going over what they have to do, uh, you know, they're, because, because once again, it's pretty much hit a reset button, Takaru has to collect 15 more icons, and currently has, uh, wait, how many icons does he have now? Uh, he has a lot of them. He has like probably eight or nine right now. Yeah, because two of them are in uh because two of them are in the uh, Gamma's possession now, I think. So should be like eight. Yeah, that's what I was that? thinking. Eight. According to my calculations. Yeah, you keep on calculating. Uh, <laughs> AKA he's calculating. AKA he forgot to add hey, the calculator. AKA he forgot to add one or subtract one. Call me the black calculator. <laughs> <laughs> this is your name. The Black Calculator. <laughs> okay. That is so, the quarter of the night. The Black Calculator. <laughs> so, Nikaru, uh, he actually brings up the fact that he was able to hear Musashi's voice because he communicated to uh, the Musashi, Damashi, and the Icon, uh, which he's actually been able to, which he'll actually be able to do later in the future, which is pretty cool. And so. He goes, so he talks to Gramps. I know it's in the sim, but that's pretty much what we're going to talk We like Gramps so. better. Yeah. I like the sage. Oh, what's your sign? And uh, Gramps, you know, he's kind of, he, he's a little bit frustrated because he doesn't like how Ryu, and, for the, and Ryu's the name of uh, Charles' father, for anybody who forgot, uh, you know, he's acting on his own, and he tells Sakaru that his dad can't appear anymore because uh, I guess you can say that he like transferred like whatever energy he had left into the car so now he can't appear again. But there's a chance that if he were to collect that if the car were able to collect the uh, 15 icons in the 99 day time period that he has left, he might be able to save both their souls. Now, after that we move, now after that, Grandpa uh, Graham, sorry, uh, he says 
he pretty <laughs> much has this luminary who's about to appear, and his name is uh, Ryoma Sakamoto. Uh, and this is actually one luminary that I don't know much about, so we should probably somebody else should probably give the audience a bit history lesson with this guy. Uh, Ryoma is pretty much uh, he was a politician back then who 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 was able to he was able to unite two uh, different regions of Japan back in the day yep. with an alliance and he was, he was able to like expand Japan's like regions and stuff and I have a feeling I have a feeling he had something to do with ships cause his uh cause his uh cause his icon sound makes a seagull noise so I'm assuming that has to do with like the ocean and shit yeah ship voyaging and stuff so alright so no sorry uh so moving on, uh, Onari comes down and he says that people are collapsing all over the city because apparently anybody with a cell phone is getting zapped and uh, I guess their souls are being collected by the Gamma. So, so they head out and uh, well, and they find the Icon Possessed Man. Uh, and we don't know his name yet. And we're probably just going to call him the Icon Possessed Man anyway. So uh, he's... Uh, he set up this shop on a park bench and he's talking about like, you know, how people can achieve these big dreams and Takaru and the gang, they they arrive and Yurison tells them that they're being controlled by an icon and and Takaru, like, you know, even though there's no icon, he just like recklessly tensions before Yurison can even start explaining. And he automatically assumes that it's a uh, Ghana connection. Yeah, and, he, he, and like, he evil. did say Icon, so I'm thinking, like, he didn't say, like, there was, there was a Gama possessing him. I mean, you <laughs> can't blame him. It's not like he's seen this situation before. It's true. This is new to us, too, when we first watched it. <laughs> yeah. So he attacks this Ganma, and if you could see me right now, you would notice that I would, I would be putting air quotes around Ganma, and... <laughs> You know, he attacks him by the collar, and the man says, oh, well, you're being kind of a poor judge of character, and, which, you know... being racist, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Yurison points out that the icon that has possessed this guy is the real my icon, so it's a car with deep engines, so... Yeah, he's, like, he's all, like, fang and stuff, like, oh, my God. <laughs> real my son. <laughs> I read your books. I love you, man. <laughs> and you know he and he actually like starts begging the Rioma guy to like have his soul linked to his, and you know and of course Rioma. Oh, down with that. This guy's this guy's a little weird, and you know, but but he also knows that he wants to revive, and he ha and he asks Hikaru what his dream is, and you know. You know, he's going by the logic that a man can't can't be alive without a dream. And Takaru, you know, like most main writers, you know, he gets the very cliche answer that he wants to protect people because, you know, every main writer has to give that kind of answer. And <clears throat> and of course Rioma says that that's boring and he should forge a Satya alliance, which was an alliance that was already formed by Rioma. That's part of his uh, whole between the Chosu and Satsuma uh, uh, regions of Japan. So, <clears throat> so of course uh, that creates a bit of a confusion. The Satsuma alliance has already been formed, so Takaru has to learn how he's going to be able to deal with the Gamma that's taking over the mobile networks. Mm -hmm. So we. Have so he asks Yurisen, and Yurisen attempts to take him to the take him to the Gamma, and Akari follows, and Onari gets her a piggyback ride, and I have no idea why they're doing for that, so don't ask me. And uh, and so they arrive at they arrive where this uh, where this like Gamma of the day, he's hacking into the cell phones, and 
he attacks <clears throat> and while he's there, Hikaru finds the gamma that killed him in episode two. So which to be fair, I mean, honestly I think this should be a much bigger moment because it's treated with like so like so nonchalantly in this episode. And that's I mean, this is only the I mean this is only the gamma that killed the car. You make you be a little bit more like I gotta kill, I gotta destroy this thing again because you know yeah. like this, I, I I hate this thing you know like it, it took my you know my life you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the car tensions and he starts fighting and the Makoto arrives and he gets as part of the fight and while he <clears throat> sorry. Man, man. While that's happening, Onari arrives and he's trying to get this, uh, get Jakaru to use this Goemon icon, which was one of the, which was one of the icons that I guess we can assume that Scion G got, but, and then yeah, it was, it was. and, but you know, Jakaru ignores him and he uses Edison, which, you know, makes Onari pretty, uh, disappointed, and the two Gamma retreat. Now, and, uh, you know, Takaru thanks Makoto, and then he leaves, and then uh, Ryoma and <clears throat> uh, Ryoma meets with Takaru and asks why he's burning brightly when he's dead, and Takaru is... Takaru once again gets his cliche answer, like saying that he wants to do his best, even if he has to put his life on the line, and, you know, Ryoma's all like, you know, back in my day, people risked their lives for their dreams, like, every day. <laughs> <laughs> and and then he asks uh, then he asks about this uh, Satchel Alliance and and he uh, and in a kind of a weird way Ariana says that part of this Satchel Alliance is that he wants to help is that he wants to part of it help uh, to actually help the man that he's possessed to form an alliance with this ring so so, so after that, uh, he depossesses the man, or at least like switches it so that the man is actually walking around in his own body now. And Akari and Onari, they go, they pretty much start investigating the Gamma stuff while Takaru stays with the man. And and then uh, and when Takaru starts uh, talking to the man, and his name is uh, right here, it says uh, Tamura Tamura Nagamasa. I guess. Yeah, Tamara. Uh, Tamara. Um, uh, he actually, in a very uh, bizarre sense, says that he's kind of excited to be possessed by Ryoma Sakamoto because, uh, you know, he's always looked up to the guy, you know, for wanting to achieve big things, and apparently he has a big space-related dream, and he's he's been making satellites, and he wants to make this newest one, but he... But the problem that he has is that he hasn't been able to get, like, this specific help from someone who he really needs, uh, his father. Dun, dun, dun. So, Daddy um, wasn't there. <coughs> Daddy wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so after that, we get a brief scene of Alan meets with the two Gamma and says that he's found a way to expand the scopes on their plans. Then we go back to the temple of... Uh, Akari is meeting with uh, Onari, Shibuya, and Narita. Those two other monsters. And, uh, and they pretty much like map out all of the uh, disruptions of the cell phones, and like with the cell phones, and they ask like them to check out that area. So, then meanwhile, uh, you know, Akari's back with Nagamasa, and he goes to their plant where where they actually make the satellites, and this will build that his father created the first satellite that could link with other satellites. Which that's is really awesome, cool. by the way. Um, yep. Yeah, I kind of build satellites on the side for work, and I'm actually pretty excited about this episode for that reason. Very cool. It is. Yeah. It's actually a real thing, too. Like, people are doing this right now with satellites in orbit. Or they're trying to, if they can ever get them in the same area. Cool. So you understood the lingo they were doing? Yeah, I speak the lingo. Nice. I speak it the... Uh, I speak the word. Except, me, you know, not Japanese. Learning Japanese could be cool, though. Or, uh, 
And somebody who's learning Japanese, I won't make those But, uh, yeah. but it's moving on. Uh, so they go inside and they meet Nagamasa's father, and, you know, he's, of course, at, you know, he's acting kind of bitter, like kind of a bitter old man because, of course, he is. And he says that it's a waste of time. And, <clears throat> and of course, something happened in the past. And then, and then when Takaru sees the guy's name, uh, I don't know what his father. I can't remember what his. Uh, I I can't remember what his father's name is, but he actually realizes. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yeah, we got the we got the first and last names mixed up. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the sat the sat plus naga, which I guess is another way for saying show. So it's like sat cho alliance. So that's actually pretty clever. Yeah. We <laughs> yeah. all knew what he was doing. Yeah, so yeah, that's actually uh, pretty uh that's pretty funny. I actually kinda of laughed a little bit when I first saw that. So um so at so after after they meet uh after they meet Naga's father, uh Taku decides to decides to go ahead and start trying to get them to work together. But uh, the father's kind of being hard-headed and um, and kind of cold-hearted. And well, I wouldn't say stubborn, really. He's just being cold-hearted. But but yeah, he he's he's not uh, he's not letting Takuru or his son to to talk to him, and uh, and he says he won't he won't. Oh wait, uh, the the son Nagamasa. He says he won't approach anyone who can't let go of the past, and that's referring to his father. So apparently, something happened between the father and son uh, beforehand that made them to not have a good relationship. So they're so um, so they. They're both about to leave, but Ryoma possesses Naga again, telling Takru to not give up that easily. And um, all of a sudden, the sword Ganma comes back and attacks, so Takru engages a fight with him again. And uh, nighttime falls, and Anari comes back, and he and once again, he's like, Hey man, it's about that time um, to use Goemon. And like he's, so, he's freaking in love with this movie. Yeah, yeah like this whole really this whole episode, Goemon. he's, he's like, been pushing Goemon. Goemon. <laughs> I'm like Goemon, but that's Ditsimon. Goemon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Takuro Ta- decides to be nice this time and actually take it, and so they. So he he finally transforms into Goemon, and uh, and he's able to use Goemon's speed to actually keep up with the Sword Ganma, and he finally finishes it off uh, using the Sunglass Slasher, and uh, yeah, because he's able to uh, like the hilt where the sunglasses actually is. He's able to pop two icons in there, and that was actually pretty. Like, you know, when I saw them, I'm like, oh, so that's why they made it a sunglasses thing, because, like, you're able to put two eyes in there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, why did they make this put sunglasses on this thing? And, like, oh, now I don't know why. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the sunglass slasher. And it may be stupid, but it's actually kind of clever, too. So. Yeah. It's effective. It's effective. I, I don't see it, but I mean, it's, it's, I mean not the worst weapon I've seen in Tommy Wire. True. But, um, but after, after Takaru finishes up his fight, they cut over to, to Alan, uh, with the, with the, uh, space, with the astronaut gone, the hacking the satellites, and he, he says, now let's begin. So they're about to start, uh, their whole, plan on whatever they're doing for next episode and this is where because this is where the episode ends 
So, um, <clears throat> so, uh, overall thoughts on the episode, um, should we, should we go around for this, or? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Should I start off, or? Ah, uh, you can. Yeah, or, well, um, well, my, for my thoughts on the episode, it was, it was pretty alright, um, it, I, I really liked that we finally got, uh, we finally got a, a heroic person to actually possess someone. That's something I've been wanting out of Ghost for a while. And to see yeah. it finally happen like this, where the where the uh, where the past I mean where the past hero will will apply what they did beforehand to to the current generation and and uh, apply it to the present i really like that type of that type of thing and yeah. having takaru to be the one to solve those problems to grow as himself and i, I like that i like that Ryoma's kind of challenging takaru's uh his his beliefs and exactly why he's doing what he's doing um what else uh yeah i guess that's pretty much my all i got um riz um for me i really enjoyed the episode on the aspects of the space and satellite stuff that was pretty cool also i really enjoyed um the way that we finally have the i the luminaries coming to life and like kind of possessing people and doing all that good stuff <laughs> Yeah, because it's something we see very often over here, like in the series. It's like it's all, you know, spirits, but you don't really see the spirits do anything beyond yeah. it. It's become a yeah. common writer thing. Because yeah, like, if the Ganma can do it, I I think that they can do it too. Yeah, this whole whole time I was thinking that you know, are they like just spirits? Can they talk? Can they communicate? Or they just you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cool to see the fact that they're actually able to communicate and not the spirits that are like kind of there in the side somewhere. Yeah. So Nathan. Yeah, I would probably agree. Like uh I mean I like how they're doing this stuff that are a bit more unique with the uh with uh <clears throat> with the whole possession thing because I mean possession is nothing new in Common Rider. In fact uh in a lot of in a lot of the uh, newer Case I or seasons like you know seasons like a uh, double or oh, freaking demo. Like yep. you know, <laughs> the thing is that like most of the monsters of the day might end up actually just being possessed humans. So I like how canaries <laughs> are uh, possess possessing. Art. And like I said, I really wish this was done in other episodes. Like I wish it was done in the monster episode. But uh, uh, but again, the only problem that I really have is that I don't like how they just. I don't really like how they just bring back. The monster that killed the Karu for me. I mean, uh, yeah, like I felt like yeah. that, that was uh, underwhelming. I mean, I liked it. It's just I don't like that they didn't do anything with it. Because like, because we're first my memory. Like, like, did, did the Karu actually defeat that Gamma? Yeah. I I mean, maybe they're gonna, maybe they're gonna do. So, I'm I'm thinking they're probably gonna do something with it later on. At yeah, the current I mean, at the current episodes we're at, but still, I mean, you, I mean, you can't just, just bring well, it back and not give us some closer answers. Yeah. I, mean, if you were gonna, I mean, if you were gonna do something like, I mean, if you were gonna do something like this, it would have been cool. Like maybe just bring back like one of the random Gamba of the day that Takaru's already defeated and have Takaru fight that, and then like maybe. For a much bigger episode, like the super fun two episode, or hell, even the final one episode, we just that the Gamma that killed him because then it would feel a bit bigger. But here it's just like, no, oh, it's the Gamma that killed the Karu. That yeah, they didn't make it as big a deal as it should have been. Uh huh. But yeah, other than that, it was it was pretty good. I mean, it's I mean, good setup for a two part because I mean, it's pretty cool because I I didn't know Ghost was actually going to do that, but. But yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool that they've gone back to the two part form. Uh, I mean, for the most part, now. Mm. All right, it's my turn. 
Um, no nope, the... talk. Yes, I do talk. <laughs> no, no talk, no talk. No, no, no. Anyway, 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 the episode overall was good. Um, I enjoyed the parts with talking to Ryoma, and I love the fact that, like, freaking, uh, this was really gonna be funny, like, um, in a, hopefully it'll be an upcoming episode soon, that, like, freaking, uh, the relationship with how, um, Onari feels about going on, you know, and stuff like that, I think, like, he'll, like, he really passionately, like, admires this guy so much, you know. I think he did, actually. He, he was talking about going on a, a little. Take it yeah, I, I remember he was talking about going on. Yeah, he's some other episode. Uh, and overall, um, the whole thing with the Gamma coming back, like the one that Takuru, that was killed by Takuru, I think that was a little underwhelming. Like I said earlier, it could have been handled a little bit better. Like, you would think Takuru would have been a little bit more, like, more and more, like, you know, anger, you know. I kind of wanted to see him, like, just go off on, like, you know, the Gamma that killed him, you know. I mean, it's like if you, I mean, it's like if somebody killed a guy who you really cared about, and then, like, he got away, and then all these years later, you see him again, and you're like, oh, you're that guy who killed my friend. Uh, yeah. Like you do kind, it kind of like what happened with Time Pink and uh, Time Ranger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a perfect example right there. I mean, I mean okay, okay, I mean, I mean, that episode was handled a little, okay, and for, and, and for anybody who uh, is wondering, uh, it's kind of like, uh, it was the it was the episode uh, uh, that was the equivalent of Time Force where Jin had to fight like that Steelix monster that was her former partner that stabbed her in the back. So I was actually talking about the one where like she wanted to to get that uh, fat catfish uh, monster. Oh yeah, that episode too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I'll admit, I mean, I think both of those episodes were handled a little bit better than this, but I can still see what you're saying there. Yeah. So I guess the consensus seems to be it was a good episode, but you probably should have held back on bringing back that guy that killed Takaru. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a little bit. True. But yeah, it is a good episode. Yeah. Alrighty. Anyway, um, I think those are all the final thoughts. Everyone's talked? Yep. Yep. Alright, well, uh, Wait, 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 there's one person that hasn't talked. You, the audience. You. <laughs> and and this, this is where you, I'm, I'm segueing for you, Riz. Go, go, go. So, as always, we'd love to hear your comments on what you think of the episode. I know we're a little bit behind, but please do let us know what you thought of this episode. We're always willing to hear more from the fans. As always, like, subscribe, uh... Oh yeah, we're definitely getting more subscribers thanks to that segue. That yeah. genius segue. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're gonna get all the subs, dude. It's gonna be great. <laughs> anyway, um, with that said, may y'all have a good night. And until next time, we are Take the Secrets and we're blasting out of here. Hey you! Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. You can also check out Enemy Secrets on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Do you want more than that? I know you do. Then go to our website where you can see daily updates and articles and exclusive interviews.